Thank you for visiting the AMS Protractor website. I'd like to make a short video today to show you how easy it is to enter a new customer into Protractor. This is the Protractor work in progress or their prioritization screen. We have a customer that's walking up, wants to uh, work on his car. We'll go up to the new work order. I'm selecting my new customer here. Customer says his name is Clay, so I enter Clay's name. I hit enter. I look at Clay, and this is the only Clay I have in my system. He says his name is Clay McCrickard, so I ask Clay what his phone number is. Clay says his mobile number is 336-552-8656. I hit enter. It went out. It did not find it in my, in my database. So Protractor goes out to the White Pages Pro website and does a reverse lookup and finds Clay here. So I'll verify that this is Clay. I click edit, and this is the customer record for Clayton. So here, this is Clay, his phone number. I verify his home address. I ask Clay if he'd like to also enter his wife in the system, and he says yes. So I go to insert name. I want to label this as his wife. Clay's wife's name is Ashley. I can also enter another phone number here if I want to for Ashley's mobile number which we won't do today, and I can also enter his email address, and I can also enter multiple email addresses and label them any way I want to. So we have customer notes here, so we go to save and close. We want to add the vehicle to Clay's name. Uh, I could do this later. I can select here. I ask Clay what his license tag number is, and he says he's a big Duke fan. So I put in the license tag as Duke. I hit the binoculars. It does a Carfax lookup. Clay has a Honda Pilot. It gives me the VIN number, the engine, and everything here. So I select the, the truck. I click OK. It fills in the VIN, year, make, model, submodel, engine. I enter the mileage. I can enter the color here. And I can also do the Carfax service history. So while I'm talking to Clay, I like to take a, a quick look at this to see how he maintains his car. What, what what does Clay normally do to his cars? He take good care of it, and obviously he has. The truck's got a bunch of miles on it. So I can enter the mileage today, or I'm going to wait and let the technician do that later. So I do save and close here, and I double-click on the truck, and now I have my work order for Clay's truck. So here's a series of questions that I have made for the service writer to ask our new customer. How did you hear about our shop? So Clay says he heard, heard about it from some friends asking where he last have his car service he says he normally goes to a dealership he had heard good things about us and wanted to come here what brings him in today he wants to do a lube oil and filter so here's where you can make any questions for the new customer here and you can enter them and answer them and all here so clay's coming in for a new oil for an oil change so i'm going to go up here to add services this is all of my canned jobs so I click the plus here, a little arrow beside the oil changes. I come down to my synthetic oil. I'm going to add the oil. I have the opportunity here to do an inspection, but on my new customer template for Protractor, I already have an inspection there. So I'm just going to click OK. Since we've selected an oil change, Protractor comes up and tells me that this vehicle takes four and a half quarts, and it takes a 520 oil. So I just click OK here. And when I do, on the work order, it already has the engine oil viscosity, and it has the quantity here. So the first thing I want to do is probably pull the oil out of my inventory. So I go, I right-click and do an inventory lookup. It pulls up my engine oils. Here's my 5W20. It shows how many I have available, which is 61.7. I double-click on the oil and pulls it from inventory. Now I need to look and see if I have the oil filter or look it up from my supplier. I hit catalog lookup. It's connecting to my default supplier, which is O'Reilly's. I can make this any default that I want to, and I can also look at any of these places for the, the oil filter. So I click check here. So it connects to the store, and it comes back and tells me what the store has. I can't help but notice here that it says inventory yes. This is telling me that I have four of these oil filters in inventory. So I click here, and I click apply. It comes up and says, do I want to purchase the oil filter or do I want to pull it from inventory? I'll pull it from inventory. I click OK. Now I've got a price out the door. 
for playing his oil change. I already have an inspection in place. Very simple inspection for the technician to look at the vehicle. The technician can click in this box here and add any notes that he wants to about the vehicle in the inspection. So just that quick and easy, I have a oil change made for our brand new customer and have prompted the service writer to ask all the questions that I want him to ask for a new customer. Quick and easy in Protractor. If you're interested, have questions, or like to see a demo, please call AMS today at 1-800-566-9325. Thank you and have a great day.